And so you can always expect that the team's going to be quite chaotic or quite dysfunctional if the leader is dysfunctional in any way, shape, or form. And so uh, an HR individual might actually have to reach out and that individual agrees and supports, or I should say the client, ultimate client, agrees and supports being coached. But then it's a matter of me holding up the mirror and and working with them to ensure that they see themselves as clearly as possible. So you also asked, how can they go about you know, doing that? Well, one, they need to ask. They need to be seeking feedback on a regular basis from their team members, from their peers, from their boss. I often get the statement back to me, well, you know, our, t- our company, our team doesn't want to do a 360. And I said, you know, they don't want to pay or invest in a 360. And I'm like, I'm not talking about, you know, you spending money. Sure, that's what I do for a living. Don't get me wrong. Um, At the same time, that doesn't excuse you that if you really care about why you're not, you know, growing or advancing, um, you can easily go out and do it yourself. Go out and talk to your people. Go out and talk to your peers. Go out and talk to your vendors and your partners and your strategic you know, uh, vendors, go to talk to your bosses, senior bosses, those decision makers, those stakeholders, those influencers. There's no reason why you can't. And so that would be, it's almost like what I did when I sat down with my sisters over some cocktails and said, describe me in one word, good, bad, and ugly. And pages came out of it. I have five sisters. Uh, But, you know, several pages came out of it. And it wasn't fun to look at it and read it. You know, it required a couple of cocktails to kind of digest it. But like I said earlier, it was very liberating.